All right, so what's happening is uh, there's some misfiring in the engine, and uh, we're trying to figure out how exactly is uh, the misfiring happening. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but you can see there's some, um, it's a check engine light that's on. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do today is try to see why it's misfiring, and uh, we're gonna use the computer to, to uh, to take a deeper look at that. All right, what we're gonna do now is, uh, right here, I don't know if you can see, there's an OBD2 connector. It's located right here. And these connectors are gonna be in a, usually on a driver's side of a car. Uh, you can find them on any vehicle in America that is produced from 1986, 85, in the mid 80s on. And it's right here, it's an OB2 connector, all right? So we're gonna get and connect uh, the computer to it. I'm inside a code reader. Am I off of it? It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, don't be worried about being off of it. <laughs> All right, so you're there. Okay, so. Okay, so now it's connected, right? We're gonna do is start to read the codes. Um, hold on one second, I'll show you what, 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 what this looks like. All right, so it's, it's scanning right now the codes to see. What's going on? Okay, so you can tell it's linked up because the power for this comes from the uh, the connector itself, the car. All right, so there you go. So you see it says P030. Um, you might not be able to read it too well. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, so that right there is uh, telling us that we have a problem with um, a cylinder uh, misfire in number one. And then uh, I'm gonna scroll through this. So I'm gonna hit the down button, and you'll see what happens. See, it says uh, cylinder two misfiring, and then there's a random misfiring. So the cylinder one and cylinder two, all right? And you can get this device from like any like uh, uh, online or any like auto store. All right, these are generic codes. They're not specific to BMW. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take these bolts off right here. Uh, that, there, here, there, here, and here. Okay, so it's uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six of them, right? So I got an eight millimeter right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that. All right, so hey, I got them all loosened up now, right? What I'm gonna do is gonna take them out by hand. That's that so far. That's all the bolts are removed. I'm gonna get to lift this part off. So it just comes off like that. All right, that's not mine. On this side, the, the driver side, the passenger side, and the driver side, these two things exist. So to get these off, we have to just turn.
turn this rubber tab here, get it out of the way. All right, so now it's out of the way. There's another one right here. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, just unclip it from the back. Right. So, all right, one more time so I can show you. I'm gonna give you another shot. Right here. Right. There's a uh, there's a there's a clip right here. Uh, what I'm just going to do is just, I just pulled it off like that and then that lift up and then come back here in the front. Um, okay, right here, there's a, uh, there's going to be a clip to pull off. Right. It just lifts up. Yeah. Okay, and that's that. Okay. There's another one on the driver's side. Uh, do the same. All right, so right here, these two sensors, uh, there's one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. It spins out, so you have to turn it like that and then slide it out. And then just move that out of the way. Okay, there's another one on the driver's side, so I'll show you. Here's the sensor on the driver's side. So we're gonna do, uh, it's just going to pull this off of, it just slides out. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull this out. I'll let the expert do it. So it's kind of like a, like a, a forwards pull, like uh, like this way. Cool? Alright, so we're gonna, what we're going to do now, we need to uh, take these clips off so we can get this out of the way because we need to take this off. So, so watch how we do this. So it just, just goes down like that. All right, because we did that, what happens is that we take the tension off of this, uh, this uh, piece. So right here, I have an eight millimeter bolt. This is the driver's side, passenger side we're looking at. So I'm just gonna go here with my eight millimeter. Screw that. And then I also have one of those like little curvy uh, rubber um, tabs here. I'm gonna go pull that back so I can slide this out. So that's that. There's another one in the uh, driver's side. We're gonna do the same thing. So on the driver's side, uh, what we have is the same rubber tab that needs to pull back. And here's the eight millimeter uh, bolt right here. So we're just gonna take that out. Now, I'm just going to go like this, pull it back. Alright, so that's free from there. Right? And then we need to now, uh, you can see it's loose. So I'm just going to lift this off. Make sure it's Okay, so I'm going to back this camera up so you can see what's happening. Alright, so this is loose now, this top. We're going to like just pull this off and that's free. So now we have all the space we need to get to this cover. Alright, so we need to take this top off, right? It's all free right here. That's why we did all this, so we can get access to all this. It's four bolts. Uh, one, two, three, 
four, what's up? Uh, four, right here. Right here is a little hidden. Don't worry about it. You'll see it if you, when you when you start to do it yourself. So one, two, three, four. All right, here we go. All right, this is a this is a five, a five. Yeah, this is a five. Five units measurement. Okay. a wide view a macro view of the engine right I'm gonna zoom in so you can get a better shot you see the uh, see right there where my tool is right okay it's right there that weird little fourth bolt is so you can see I'm trying to get to it right here all right so it's up enough tension it. it's gonna grab it pull it out all right and then that's it right there so that should be enough to get this entire top off so I'm gonna back out a little bit this shot see if uh... okay so here we go so I should be able to pull this off I might have to take this cap off I think I'm not sure probably not but let me see oh no I don't all right all right and then that's it all right, so here we have uh, the, the spark plugs, right? Uh, and in this E90 model, uh, what we have, all, all, the, all, the, um, all of the, uh, the spark plugs are like this. This is spark plug number one. It's the one that's closest to the radiator up front is number one. That's number two. That's number three. That's four. That's five and number six. So it says that there's a misfire in number one and number two. Today we're going to change all the coils on all of these. All right. All right, so so right here, right uh, on the cylinder uh, uh, cylinder two, uh, what we have is uh, I think it's hard to see, but there is oil like right down in here. Okay, so that's how you can know that there's definitely it's leaking oil, and you can see all this like dark stuff right here. That's a clear indicator oil is coming out and down and around and, and ending up in there. Okay, so look for that when you do. We're gonna replace these little coils. These things, they sit on top of the spark plug, right? And uh, the computer said that these two are misfiring and some other random ones. So we're gonna do all of them together to get today. So the first thing we're gonna do is just take this cap off. It's like a hinge, it goes like that, right? And then there's a plug, pull that plug off, right? And then this right here, it should just tip this straight off. Yeah. Now it's that's it. That's what we're gonna replace. Okay, and it just sits on top of the spark plug that's inside of there. All right, so here's the replacement part. You can see the uh, part number right here. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. All right. So it looks exactly the same. See that? Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and just. Give that a try. In there, it's got the, You'll hear that suction-like sound. That's that, that's how you know it's like uh, it connected nicely to the uh, spark plug. Squeeze that on, and we're gonna just push the cap down, and that's it. It's really fast, easy repair. We're gonna do it all the way down for all six of them. If everything goes well, it'll be really smooth sound in your uh, your ride. It won't get any more jerkiness. You can tell these things are failing because uh, uh, the car starts to, it just kind of feels as if it's not like picking up as quickly as usual. And um, it, you know, you'll, you'll just step on the gas and it's like, uh, da, da, and then you might hear some, you might feel some jerkiness. That's really a good example of when you should do 
actually three things depend on your car so let's say you have like uh, 80,000 miles there is a sensor right here uh, it might be I don't know I'm getting still on frame it's a camshaft sensor uh, you want to replace that sensor it's about $60 for it for the OEM replace the spark plugs which is inside of that chamber and then you're going to replace these coils okay so you do all three of those your car should run really really well after that okay so this spark this uh this chamber this third chamber is gonna be a little tricky to get out um because it's close to this thing i don't know what it's called but anyway you go like this take uh you need some leverage you can take something slide it in between here like that right and you're just gonna like pull up like that see it just pulls it right off then you can just go like this all right and did the other one on the other side, the fourth chamber is going to be the same thing. Just use that, slide it in, pull it up. So it's all, uh, all the parts or uh, all the coils are put in. Uh, what should you do before you close it up? You want to go ahead and turn it on. I just make sure that the, uh, the engine is actually idling properly. So go ahead and turn it on. To listen to it for a little bit um, give it a little bit of time to run make sure it doesn't cut off or anything like that and then take it for a drive right um, also you want to clear the engine codes too and if you can uh, if not it's totally fine but uh just go ahead and uh, let it idle first check it after it's done idling take it for a spin if it doesn't cut off you're good you did a good job all right thank you so we're gonna put the cover back on. The BMW brand is to the front. there. I'm going to go ahead and what I had to do is this, uh, this clip here was missing a washer. So I just got a uh, sure kind of washer I got. It's one of these like um, self-tightening washers. Uh, they look like this. See they're not like a solid piece of metal. They get tighter as you uh, they get tighter as you um, screw down. So put that in top first. Tighten everything just to make sure I don't strip anything. Okay. That looks good and get the others. tricky because way back here. I'm gonna use this, take this off. I need to like make sure I'm not stripping anything so I can just do it by hand. So that looks good. Feels good. I'm just hand tightening it because you don't want to uh, you don't want to strip it. So right. it doesn't need a lot of torque.
Alright, so that's it. It's all done. In a perfect world, what they would recommend you do is go tighten this one, tighten that one, tighten this one, tighten that one. You always want to go across. Alright, the next thing we need is put on this longer black part. Uh, you remember this? We'll pull it off the layer. Great. So, if you look at it closely, it has these little grooves right here. Great. So, we need to slide it down and around. Down and around the, uh, this piece right here. Do the same thing on the other side. So right here is one of these like flathead screws like that. I mean um bolts for the washer on top. I'm gonna put this like that right here right, to hold this down. This is a uh, also an eight millimeter. Same thing on the other side. Are right, we gonna screw this down on this side over here? So this is the passenger side sensor here. This one twists in this little space right here and locks into place. There's another one over here on the driver's side. So All right, so what we're gonna do now is take this sensor here, we're gonna slide it on. It's got like little, little some grooves right here. This is the driver's side you're looking at. So I'm just gonna take it and slide it onto this little clip here. That's it. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is the uh, is covers on the side. All right, so you'll see we have uh, both sides here. Um, the clip right here is what you want to pay attention to. So that's going to be on the driver's side. Okay, and this is going to be on the uh, this is going to be on the passenger side. So let's go ahead and put this on the driver's side.
we're gonna do the uh, passenger side. Both sides clipped down, so that's it. Everything is uh, back in place. We're just gonna screw the bolts down now on this outside piece. All right, so now we're gonna take this hose and put this hose back in place. So let's take a let me give you another look closer up here. You can see what's happening. There's a the clips are right there that was just removed. Can you show us again the clips? Yeah. Right. There's three. There's three clips right there. Cool. Then we're gonna try to like slide that that hose back in underneath there. Them back together. Be careful with these clips, they're really like fragile. Alright, what's next? We're gonna... And then slide this way in. Yeah. Just... And then it just slides right in. Yeah, they slide on these. See, there's like three grooves right there. And then you just gotta slide it into the grooves. That's it. Now it's in position. Alright, now we're gonna have to bolt down the, uh, the top. What we're gonna do now is take this. Uh, cabin filter, I'll put it on, um, so it just goes like that, see it's a filter. Uh, if you ever need to change this filter, it's super easy to do, uh, just, you know, pull it out, put it on, not a really, not a difficult uh, filter, uh, car maintenance thing. See these little, these little tabs right here, you gotta be careful, they're very, very easy to break. Like this one's broken right now, and that happens when like over tightening. So don't go crazy. You're not like trying to like pull an elephant on this car, right? right? So sit that there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six um, bolts are gonna screw down. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna hand tighten it at first. Cause you don't want to over tighten it. all six parts. I don't know if you're gonna watch me do it all, but if you do, well, good luck to you. That's good. That butt shot? That's right, baby. Hello, internet. Okay, so we got one more right here. Whoa. There you go. It's all hand tight. Only one that I'm really kind of worried about. It's that one over there. It's kind of weird. Um, So like these kind of things just go across. So I'll go like this. Alright, and then from here, go to here. 
From there, go to here, because you want to go across. Makes, it makes everything uh, sits, sits properly. Alright, and then we got the tomb. This one back here. Okay, again, don't go crazy. I'm not like trying to support an elephant or anything like that. Okay, so. You got your goodbye hug. That's it. Everything's done. Hope you liked the video. Hope it was helpful to you. Like and subscribe below.